Hey Cam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something that I've always wanted to do but just never remember doing. <laughs> anyway, um, before we move on to the contents of this vlog, please make sure you're already subscribed and hit that bell button so you're always notified when I have new videos like this one. So for today, we are going to talk about empties. Um, this is our beauty edition. Or, but this is my beauty edition of an empties vlog. I have collected just a few that I've emptied out maybe the past two months or so. I wish I actually collected more, but again, I never remember doing these empties vlogs. So I can't seem to remember to keep my empty beauty products. But now able to keep some of them so that I can come up with this empties vlog. Okay, so first on my empties vlog is this one. You guys all know if you guys have been watching my vlogs before, you know that this is my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite product from Common Labs. So this is Common Labs Vitamin E Micro Needle Spot Cream. I love it so much because it's so effective whenever I have like a budding pimple. I just put this on and then voila, it's gone. It's got tea tree leaf which is perfect for acne and also sebum control and it's got vitamin E which is awesome when it comes to really lightening your dark spots and also those acne scars. This is bombdiggity.com. I still do use it every single day. On the instructions, you're only supposed to use it mga every two to three days because it's got micro needles on it so it's able to really penetrate your skin with the ingredients so you don't really need to keep applying it every single day. It's able to stay in your skin for around 70 hours. So this is how it looks. It's got an applicator tip. So this is for hygienic purposes. You just use it through this applicator. And usually I apply it on as the last step of my skincare routine. Because again, it's got micro needles. You don't want it to be transferring to other areas of your face. And then the next skincare product that I love, love, love. This is also already, I think, my third emptied out jar. So it's from ZO Skin Health. It's their oil control pads. I get it from Bella Beauty so you guys can get it from there as well. This actually came highly recommended to me by Dr. Vicky Bello and she knows my skin so well so obviously sobrang hiyang niya for my skin. It's got salicylic acid so unfortunately I had to stop using it while I was pregnant but it's got 60 pads but para masulit ko talaga siya I cut it into half because um, that was also a tipid pack of Doc Vicky. She told me just half of the pad is already enough to cover your entire face. So this is also perfect for acne prone skin and also oily skin titas like me. So I feel like it's really so effective with really managing my oiliness and also really keeping the pimples at bay. I get very very minimal pimples now actually. I haven't gotten any breakouts for a really long time. I feel like it's really because of this and also my Common Labs Vitamin E Micro Needle Spot Cream because I'm able to really treat these pimples from the get-go if they ever do appear. Next on my empties list is this one. It's from Sand and Sky. It's their Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Mask. I love this. It actually detoxifies and brightens your skin. It comes with this small brush. Actually, it's not super empty, but it's so big. So I'm having such a hard time like really clearing it out. It's almost gone. I'm trying my best to prolong this because it's not readily available here in the Philippines unless you guys know where I can get it. One of its main ingredients is vitamin A and it's so, so powerful. I usually use this mga once a week or twice a week if I'm feeling gracious. I would put it all over my face. So at first it's pink and then it turns white. And if you have any inflammation or if for example you had like a breakout or like a bad skin season, a bad skin day, this cures all of that. The next day your skin looks so bright and smooth and even if you've got like a really really angry pimple I feel like this also calms that down I love this I also feel like after using it my skin is so much more radiant and luminous and fair I don't know it really is when it's said that it detoxifies and brightens girl you really see it like you really see it on your skin when I started using this I didn't know that it was a cult beauty fade but then later on when I was researching its ingredients that's when I found out that so many people are so in love with this pala and then when I was reading reviews there's some people pa na they have like major major breakouts and stuff and this actually really helped them like they just made it into a habit like a twice a week or once a week habit and it really helped their skin look so much better they had photos and all of that and it was like 
let me try this. So whenever I feel like my skin is about to go really, really bad, like a bad skin day is about to come, I use this. Lately though, since I've been having like really good skin days, what I do is if I have a really long shoot day where I'm using such thick makeup, after I do my double cleansing or my triple cleanse, whatever I feel like, I still do this because I feel that it's able to really detoxify my skin, get all that gunk out and to make sure that I don't get any breakouts the next day. Fourth is another Common Labs fave. So if you've been following me, you've also seen this on my previous vlogs. It is the Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. I do use different types of moisturizers, but my favorite type is really the gel type. So this is totally not sticky at all. It's super fast absorbent. It smells amazing because it's got PHA and also mandarin orange peel. It's got pure vitamin C on it. So it's very, very good when it comes to brightening your skin. I use this every morning and ayan siya, ubus na siya. I'm still working on all those tira-tira kasi para lalang na super sulit siya. It's so, so, so light which is how I love my moisturizers. Even though this has a potable type of vitamin C, it's really, really a powerful pure type of vitamin C. I feel like it's stable enough which is why I don't get any reactions to it even though I have like a sensitive skin. So if you have dull skin and you feel like you need help with making it more luminous, more evened out, more brightened, you have to really try this from Common Labs. Again, it's Common Labs Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. Perfect for smoothing your skin to improve that texture. Okay, so aside from skincare products, I also have some here that is for your hair. You guys know I'm an ambassador of Kerastas, but I am a true believer of Kerastas as a brand and its products. I don't endorse anything that I don't believe in anyways. And so this is one of the products that I'm endorsing from them. It's already finished. It's siya actually maubos because if you really follow the instructions of four full pipettes. Imagine if I use this twice pa because it says that you can use it day and night. I only use this at night and sobrang bilis na ubos in like a month. It's already done. So now that I'm on to my second bottle, I feel like I'm not gonna follow the four full pipettes that I'm gonna like make it fewer. But I really do love it. So this is the Kerastas Genesis Serum. So it's made especially for people who's got weak hair. So it's made to make your hair stronger and to prevent hair fall. Although a lot of people have been telling me that postpartum hair fall starts three months after. I'm already on my third month and I feel like my hair still looks really, really healthy. I don't know if it's all because of this or there's some sort of miracle, but I plan to keep using it because I I just feel like my hair is really healthy and I see results and also it smells amazing. So this is one of my favorite products. I'm actually also using the shampoo and conditioner of this line. That one's taking a longer time because I like to switch my shampoos every now and then. But this one because I use it every night so that's why I'm really sad that I this. Next is a makeup product. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's also one of the cult faves. And this is actually already my second model of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. If you guys have oily skin, this is the best foundation for you. When I had the biggest skincare scare of my life, you guys know my celery dilemma where I had the worst breakout of my life. This was the only foundation that I trusted. It's able to cover all of those like cystic acne that happened to me and like the really, really bad marks. And it wasn't making my skin worse. It wasn't aggravating my skin condition. So that is why I am a true believer of this one. I am a shade Warm Vanilla. You might think it's not empty, but it's really empty. It's just right down here on the side. But it's empty. It's empty. actually. I'm still trying to get all of those at the bottom. Maybe I could still do uh, three applications. <laughs> three more times of using this and then it's completely done. But yeah, it's my favorite. It lasts me also a really long time. It doesn't make me shiny. When they say that this is matte finish, they really meant it. And when they said that it's a stay in place makeup, they really meant it. Another oldie but a goodie. You guys know that I love my highlight. I am a highlighting tita. So this is one of the cult fave products from Becca. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in Champagne Pop. I hope it's done because there is still some here on the side. So I plan to still use that. But it's so good. It's still the same highlighter I'm using now. So on my nose, on like my cheekbones, and also here on my brow bones, also here on my cupid's bow. It's really the best color I feel for fair skinned people and also morena. I think it's so versatile and it's got a nice champagne yellowish color, but it's not super duper golden that it makes you look like you're Cleopatra on steroids. So <laughs> I uh, really love this and I feel like no other highlighter can ever ever compare to this. A little goes a long way. There was a time when I used too much of this which is why this was the result. But yeah, it's my favorite, favorite highlighter. 
here we are again with another oily tita fave so if you want to set your makeup this is one of the best setters that you can find out there it's the urban decay the setter oil control setting spray so i really really love this it's paraben free it's got temperature control technology out of all the setting sprays i've tried this works the longest it really keeps me oil free combined with the essie lauder double wear I can even pretend I'm not an oily people. So this is Filmed's Skin Perfusion HXR Eye Cream. This is also a product that I got from Bello Beauty. I love using this. It took me a long time to finish this because I would only put like a really tiny, tiny amount and it would be enough to cover my entire under eye area and also my lids. I feel like out of all the eye creams I've tried, this was the most successful in keeping my lids lifted because that's really my problem more than under eyes. My aging skin problem is that I I was starting to get droopy eyelids already and that's always been my problem and that's something that Dr. Vicky also always notices about me especially in my right eye so sometimes the fold on my left eyelid is bigger than the fold on my right eyelid so this is able to really cure that because sometimes before using this I would sometimes lose my double eyelid on the right eye if I didn't sleep much and my eyes are really really tired but with this one if I apply this at night then I'm sure that the next day my eyes are still beautiful so I feel like this is really really powerful I also used this while I was pregnant so I feel like it is pregnancy safe when I checked out all the products Doc Vicky also told me that it's pregnancy safe so yeah and then last on my empties is something for the hair as well so this is Olaplex I used to for this so much when I had um, unicorn hair still and it was so hard to find Olaplex here in the Philippines I would hoard it whenever I'm in the States or I'm in Europe so this is a number three which is what you use for colored or chemically treated hair so because I had like really 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 bad hair before when I not my bad but not as healthy hair when I had my unicorn hair then I would use this every single time before I would color my hair even just at home for example I use this healthy hair coloring system from Overtone even though that's already so healthy I'd still use Use this and every time I use this I feel like my hair is just 10 times more healthier so if you guys are um, treating your hair chemically let's say you're perming or you're rebonding or you're having it colored it's nice to have an Olaplex number no. three at home and you can do this at home before your treatment it's like coating your hair and preparing it before it gets all those chemicals so at least it gives you another layer of protection and it doesn't get as and the chemicals effects on your hair aren't as harsh as it would be without the Olaplex number three. So that's it for my empties vlog. I hope that you guys liked it. If you guys love this type of vlog, let me know so that I can make more of an empties vlog in the future. Or if you want different editions of my empties vlog. Anyway, see you guys next week on the vlog. Same time, same place. 